is going on guys it's your boy titan feet jack and i'm back at you again with another video I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel here's the list of my socials you can follow me along as i build my sneaker collection now today we're going to take a look at a sneaker uh it's still sitting on the shelves in stores but you know me with my unique size i gotta try on release the or as close to release day as possible to get my size for retail. So when release day came, shout out to the guys and gals over that working hard at Hibbit Sports and City Gear because when release day came, I was able to get this sneaker from Hibbit Sports on the app on release day. The process was very smooth, got the confirmation number very quickly and I'm very appreciative of that and shout out to those guys and gals at Give It Sports for this retail cop. Now, the sneaker is still sitting in stores, but a lot of different factors are going into that. This sneaker uh, is not light due to the loudness of the color, possibly. We hear uh, people throwing around the uh, R word that this country is facing a recession. Some people are going for it saying if we're in a sneaker recession, but whatever the yeah. situation the sneaker is sitting, and I'm happy I was able to get it for retail. We're gonna take a look at the sneaker. I'm speaking of the sneaker you're looking at, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Visionary. Here you go guys, let's read that box tag. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Color Volt Black and Sale Size 14 uh, and the price is 170 US dollars. Take a look at the box. You can see the Nike sign in the Volt colorway and it's on a white box and you can see the uh, letters on here just like on the Rebellion Airs. They can't stop you from wearing them now. Let's uh, flip the box top. You can see that live stamp right there. Red. You have it all on the paper. Wax paper. And let's see. We do not have a YDM sticker in the box. And P.S. They don't glow in the Here dark. Here we go, guys. This is the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Visionaire. Now, this is a bright sneaker. I give you that, but that's right on my alley. Y'all see my skin complexion? Yeah, that goes good together. That's a good match. So this is one reason why I like the sneaker so much. I also like the sneaker because it's kind of unique. The material that's used here on the mud guard and going up here to your... uh eyelets and everywhere there's this volt colorway is in a crack material now a lot of people saying they don't like the crack material but i'm just making you aware that this is the same material that the air jordan one chicago reimagined is gonna be on it's basically i'm holding it in my hand right now but everywhere there's the volt colorway is gonna be university red or gym red whatever color they decide to use on these real madness so keep that in mind when you're dissing this shoe keep that same energy when it comes to the chicago one reimagine and they give you a little notice right here it says please note natural cracks seen on the upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application so we got that out of the way we're gonna get into the sneaker you got the white leather on your quarter panel it's a it's not that good of a leather, but you can see there are uh, it's like some type of substance on here. So like the note said, you got that application. You have a black swoosh and you have your Air Jordan Wings logo right here branded on. And you got your uh, Volt colorway crack material going around your around your ankle collar, your eyelids and going around your mud guard and your heel. Look at the outsole of the sneaker. You have a black outsole, Jordan 1 outsole, Cena 1, you've seen them all. 
looking at the heel, there's a good look of that. Give you up close and personal of that crack application that was applied to the heel. There you all go. And looking at the medial side of the sneaker, more of that cracked leather application on your Vogue colorway, your ankle collar, going down the eyelets and all that good stuff down to the mud guard. You have the black swoosh coming around from the other side. This leather is like a straight leather. However, there is no cracked leather application to the swoosh. I'm not so sure about the white quarter panels. I'm pushing in on it. You can see a little crack it's a little wrinkleness going on but not a hundred percent sure but if i have to go off the field the crack application was not applied to the quarter panel you have your midsole white midsole and the black at the very bottom was led to the outsole and we're going to get to the toe box one of my favorite parts of sneakers and you can really see that application on the toe box comes with a couple sets of laces comes factory lace with the black and you have that age looking black lace uh let me get the rest of it out because that's just a part of it here you go guys this how these laces look they look really aged like they look dirty so don't think they gave you a used pair of laces with these and you got your tongue nylon tongue and it look like the tongue is aged as well, so they're going with that aged look with this sneaker. And you got your woven patch in the Vogue colorway, and you have Nike Air in the uh, white lettering. Turn it around, your uh, patch is in the Vogue colorway. It's so bright. I'm not sure you guys are seeing it on the camera, but in the back of the tongue. And you got a sock liner, black sock liner. And this is what the inside of the sneaker looks like without the insole. I'm gonna give you a look at the insole. And you look at your size and tag. There you guys go. See that size and tag production date, December 1st of 2021 to January 4th of 2022. So. Wow, not even a month of production on these. Not sure why. And these are the other set of laces. Probably gonna keep the black laces in there. And here is your cardboard shoe tree, size 13, 14. Flip it around. Here you go. Die cut sock liner. And here's the insole. This reminds me of a tennis ball. The material on your insole reminds me of a tennis ball. So I have a fresh tennis ball for my insole. Got the size and sticker, Nike Air branding, and flip it over. We got a dream shell, dream cell, excuse me, dream cell. Insert, something different. Not sure if it makes the shoe more comfortable, but I'm definitely gonna find out. So. This is pretty much it with the Air Jordan 1. And look at that. Make sure your uh, pairs look like this. There's no need to look on the resale market for these. If you're looking for the toe, unless you wear my size or bigger, you know, or you have your uh, unique size, excuse me, you should be able to walk into your local hippie sports stores or city gear and cop those or any store you may have in your neighborhood. So. That's it for the shoe. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.